let's start selecting five specials here. First one, speed. I recommend speed system five because in this raid you need both fast turning and fast straight line speed. If you don't have it, downgrade to speed four, three, whatever you can, but really I think below four you, you, it won't be effective. So let's stick to five here. Most people should have it by now. Second, let's pick a resistance special. Uh, this raid only deals missile and uh, corrosive damage. There's nothing we can do about corrosive through special, so the best special you could pick here from the research tab is reactive armor 3. With a little bit of, of re retrofit, it can actually give you like 75% resistance against missiles. Mine's at R3, so you get 71%. So that already brings the Rhino to 83% resistance on its own. Some people, if you want to make it like a more multi-use hull, you could go with heavy plating. That's what I have on mine today because I built before this raid. Uh, but then you're going to be losing some speed. So, But it's up to you really. The difference now is about 10%. Makes a big difference in this raid. So let's go back to reactive armor. There you go. Some people like mixing countermeasure and offensive weapons on the same hull. That will drive your choice of specials a little bit. I want to make this one 100% missiles, all offensive. And we're going to use some other ship as your countermeasure ship. So in that case, uh, we got to focus on the range and damage that you can get those missiles to deal. So first one, let's go for range. Most basic special you can get for range comes from the research tab, everyone should have it. It's solid fuel booster, right? This one gives you 30% extra range and pretty much that's it. That's all you get. There are improvements over this special if you have the blueprint. So the first one here you should consider is guided missile system. It gives you the same 30% range but gives you a lot more accuracy so against high evade targets that's the go-to guy and my preferred choice from the raid now you can get the counter missile extender also gives you 30 percent gives you more reload instead of damage 30 percent more reload and it boosts your anti-missile range so your countermeasure but since i'm not putting any countermeasure on this ship that's a poor choice for me here so let's go back to guided missile systems. Next one, let's select something else to boost our missile damage. So my favorite choice here, again, is the interception system. This one gives you 45% more damage and also a bonus combat speed, so it makes your ships really, really fast. The other option that you can retrofit is the strike warheads. It gives you 45%. If you retrofit that, you can actually get to about 55%. So if, if you're looking for maximum extra damage, that's the right choice. If you want the extra damage, not as much, but the speed boost, this is your best choice. I'm going to stick to this one. So now you see we have the Rhino here going at 33. Combat speed, turning really fast. And with a good extra damage of 65%. Using the interception system also lets you, if you want, make this hole a little bit multi-use. Again, going back to heavy plating here, it'll keep your ship at 29 combat speed. It's how I have mine today because I built it prior to this raid. But this is the optimum setup for this particular event. Last but not least, let's pick something for evade. We don't need reactive coding, although it builds faster, because we don't have... Uh, any sort of radioactive damage in this raid. If you want to make it more flexible or if you have any other needs for this hull, could be a good choice. Otherwise, we can go with agility system, which gives you a longer build, but resistance to ice fields and other effects, stuns overall will last less time than they would otherwise. Uh, it won't make you go faster through an ice patch though. For that, you'd have to use the shield attack system here which we want right now. The best choice if you have on the limited tab is Agility System 4. It takes the longest to build, but you get 50% extra evade. Right, so if I select this one, here we go. We're at seven days, 16 hours. If we go back to Agility System 3, 
we sacrifice a little bit of evade but say five hours and if you want to go even faster but you make your ship heavier you can do reactive coding here you save well over a day when compared to agility system so it's a little bit of a choice do you want to build faster and and have be heavier but resistance to radioactive or do you want to be resistant to stun takes longer to build or do you want to maximize evade and take even longer to build so again pick your poison here because these rhinos won't be frontline they'll actually be coming behind um, the tank you could even go back to basic research and use guidance scrambler i don't have mine retrofitted so it's basic 40 percent but you bring it down to five days 18 hours and you get a decent amount of evade so again just to review the choices so far this one builds fast and it's really good for this event cycle if you wanted to go fancier you could get a bit more damage here from your missiles by selecting strike warhead brings your build time up a little bit you could go highest possible evade with the agility system 4 and you could get some torpedo resistance if you want with hydraulic resistors it's like a speed 5 but with 15 percent extra resistance so that's so far kind of like the longest build i'm going to again bring it down to a more reasonable build time just so people can potentially have two or three of those ships by next event which I think can help folks a lot in this cycle. So next up, let's talk about weapons. Um, one option here could be the disruptor missile from research. It builds relatively fast and should slow down incoming ships, but I've noticed this raid, all of the enemies seem to be on reactive. So the slowdown here really doesn't work. So I'm not going to use this guy. For other purposes, it's good. It helped a lot during Revenge Raid, for instance. Um, let's go now to the Harrier. The Harrier is the fastest build one, the lightest one, and it has a very decent bypass. Um, I like this choice. I wouldn't build all on it, but I know some guys like Gadget have started building Apollos with all Harriers, and it is a good choice overall. I like to balance that a little bit with blades because they pack the biggest punch of these newest missiles here and so let's put six blades in total here some people may ask why am i not using tridents i don't like the tridents because they have a very very short range and if you notice when you have to use a remote target there's a fall off here you lose 40 percent of the damage stated on that weapon so let's say that the blade here states 1200 thousand damage give or take from its normal range when you get that maximum uh, remote range it's going to lose 40 percent of that because the blade is shorter range it has to go on remote range much earlier so you often lose a lot more of its damage when you actually get to fire because it won't fire from as far as the blade or the harrier you know. so this is a good combination here you have a big punch of 22,000 damage and a lot of it coming from the harriers which have bypass if you go all harriers it actually builds faster but you won't be as effective against turrets and ships that rely a lot on just percentage resistance and finally, let's talk about armor. Um, I don't think you have to put a lot of armor on your rhinos because that means when you make a mistake and it takes a lot of damage by accident, it won't be too expensive to repair. Going heavy on armor also means a much, much longer build time, right? Uh, and again, if your rhino's not gonna act as a tank and it's gonna sit behind the tank, you really don't need armor. Overall, I would go with D2E armor so we get some decent evade here right and it's lightweight and it builds fast and repairs fast a lot of targets in this raid though they don't have 
sorry, they have a very, very high accuracy, like 1,000% accuracy, 230% accuracy. So it doesn't really help matters, right? So the other option is we could just go and boost uh, missile resistance by going D2M all the way. So you get a reasonable amount of evade, 54%. But you can get your defense up to 90 something percent, depending on the retrofit level you have on your armor. Okay, and again, still a 10 day build. If you get three of those by next month and a tank, you should be well equipped to do some serious damage during Civil War series. And remembering these targets will somehow be reused in game later. So this should have still a pretty decent shelf life. Just remember to rank it uh, as much as possible before next raid. To build a countermeasure and tank ship it all in one, I recommend the Punisher. Could also be the heavy cruiser or the draconian carrier, which is what I'm using because I already had one and it was easier to refit. But if I were to begin from scratch, I'd go with the Punisher. Again, first of all, let's pick resistance, which for this raid, it's all about missiles. So let's go reactive. It's already at 89%, which is awesome, right? Next up, since this is going to be a uh, countermeasure ship as well. I'm going to choose the frontline countermeasure system since we also have to fight some turrets. That's going to give me 50% turret defense, right? The other specials you could use are countermeasure loader, which takes a long time to build and doesn't make sense here because this ship doesn't have any offensive weapons, so it, there's nothing to boost reload on. The older option, if you have, it's the old countermeasure system. Where is it? Here, countermeasure equipment. So this is the cheapest option, I think, the oldest one if you have. If you don't, again, just go and get frontline countermeasure system. Okay, so it's a two-in-one combo. It's the best boost for anti-missile range and very good accuracy boost. Let's match speed with those rhinos. They were at 33, so if we get speed system five here, we're almost there at 31, okay? We need some good evade here. So I'm gonna max out on agility system four. Again, you could go basic evade, builds faster. You could go reactive coding, you could go agility system three, but this is the best option for the tank. You're at 80% evade already. Okay, and 89 defense. I'll leave the final slot open for now because there are some things to consider that I want to discuss with you. First, then let's just put the countermeasure. The best option you can put in here for this cycle is the flanx four, sorry, here, flanx four. That's the best one you can choose. It's also going to boost your uh, penetrating defense. So you just got to be cognizant of the max weight. If you're going to run this guy with four rhinos, balance out weight. You may be able to fit in an extra one or one less, depending on your dock's max capacity. So I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, I'm running with a mix, five of these guys makes your tank pretty heavy okay and then I had a couple more flanks too the problem in doing what I'm doing here is if these guys ever run out of shots and they're reloading these guys will start kicking in and they have lower accuracy so some shots may get through okay mm, the other option is you don't put those in Try to run with less countermeasures and you leave more room for armor because this is a tank as well. So you do need some good resistance, right? 
If you're running this guy ahead of rhinos, you need a, an offensive weapon to spot and trigger remote targeting. My weapon of choice is the antipode la launcher. If you have this one, it's going to give you a decent range and doesn't require an extra special. So this is what I would use. Antipode, this is what I have on my Punisher tank. Another option some people go for is you put a missile here. It's lightweight, but the downs and it gets you maximum range. You can get like 98 range here, right? Only if you use the less special for solid fuel booster. That's the light, lightest one you can use. So don't go for guided missile systems here because you don't really need it. Um, this is enough to trigger the, the rhinos from a range of 98, but now you've used that special. Okay, if you go with the launcher, then you can keep that special open and either use an extra evade module, uh, an engine upgrade, or you know, something against stun, against pinch. So you could pick speed upgrade for instance and that would probably make your tank here even a little bit faster than your rhinos that's a choice if you want to make it turn faster then another choice and also get some extra evade you could go with thrusters oh, sorry you can use thrusters with speed system you could use that if you had hydraulic resistors so like this but that's a limited special not everyone's gonna have that but then you can add this guy with thrusters. And now you're still a bit slow than the rhinos and we fix that, but you have a super fast turn speed and 81% evade, right? So the way you can fix the speed now, there's a few different ways. One is you can just put some siege cannon ass here and get the speed bonus for almost no weight. So let's see how fast we get here. 32. Let's put two here. And 34. You're even faster than the rhinos now. You could take one out if you wanted. Right? This is fine tuning. It's going to be entirely up to you. So let's leave it like this 33, 49, 81% evade. And now. If you want to go really nuts on the defense here, you can just go heavy or light on armor. Again, it depends on how long you have to build and how much repair you want to have on this guy. So if you go all D2M, it's not going to be much of a tank because armor is going to be low. Right? So another choice is you go D5M. Now you're making the ship really heavy. So we gotta see if you can afford to have it as heavy as we have this one here. And the build time now is about 20 days, so it's really long, right? If you change specials here, you can make it a little bit faster. If you go all flanks to all of the slots except one, it's gonna build faster. So again, it's choices you have to make. I'm not telling you exactly what's the unique best build ever because there's no such a thing but just trying to give the principles here, right? So you look at our defense now, it's 97% and you have a decent amount of armor for a tank. Okay, another way of solving this whole puzzle, building faster and getting the speed, we get rid of these cannons. We're back now to being slower than the rhinos and we use from the Scourge the cadmium streamline armor. This guy is going to give you. Let's remove this missile armor, and this guy gives you a nice buff here on speed. So we could go pick a second one. And I'll just try to fight and fit the weight here. So let me see, we'll take one of these guys out down for. Flanks two, okay, there we go, or even a three. Don't really care. Uh, 
there. So now we have a decent amount of armor. I run 14k on my my tank. We have probably the right amount of speed. We have very good turning. Okay. Um, and here you go. A tank to go with your rhinos now. Either you do four rhinos or you do three rhinos and a savage Kodiak and Aegis or something like that. Uh, you saw my builds on my videos. This is pretty much even better than what I have because it's custom made for this event series.